Okay, today's thought of the day comes from Proverbs chapter 9, and even before I read it, it's interesting to note how both wisdom and folly in this chapter, which are kind of personified, are calling out or vying for our attention and our devotion every day. And the question really is, who will we listen to? Who will we learn from? Whose house will we enter into? Will we, will we choose wisdom or will we choose folly? Listen to what it says first about wisdom, Proverbs 9, 1 through 6. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out its seven pillars, seven being the number of fullness or completion. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. So everything's been prepared and set in place in advance for us to partake of. She has sent out her maids and she calls from the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come in here, she says to those who lack judgment. So an invitation has gone out and is going out for all of us to come and enter the house of wisdom and learn wisdom. In fact, she says, come eat my food and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and you will live. Walk in the way of understanding. Now, skipping down a few verses, 13 through 18, listen to what it says about folly. The woman folly is loud. So she's, you know, dramatic and, and distracting. She's undisciplined and without knowledge. She sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city. So she's right there with wisdom calling out to those who pass by who go straight on their way let all who are simple come in here she says to those who lack judgment so she's also extending this invitation uh to people to enter into and partake of what she has to offer which she says stolen water is sweet food eaten in secret is delicious but little do they know that the dead are there that her guests are in the depths of the grave wisdom leads to life folly leads to death thought of the day choose wisdom not folly.